Kerry here and this is the third time I got interrupted twice and I'm determined to have this conversation with you. <sighs> so self-care and self-love. I've posted on my timeline yesterday about what does self-care mean to you and it was fascinating and quite revealing to me and I kind of got it because it, 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 I realised that this is where um, it's such a reflective process that if I asked you about what your self-care um, routine is, it would kind of equal how much self-love you have. Um, and I know this to be true because I ask a lot of these kinds of questions to clients and of myself. And it's such a reflective thing that I know if I'm avoiding meditating, my mind has got hold of my head. And I know that to be true because there are times when I'm quite okay and quite smooth in my system and I'll be meditating and things will be moving along. And when things start to get a bit cranky in my life, the self-care goes whoosh out of the window and then the self-love goes whoosh with it. So I wanted to look with you about when I ask you about self-care. One, what is that for you? So these are things I really, really, really think that it, it would be highlighting for you to look at. One is, what does self-care mean to you? Write that down. Write down all the things that you do for yourself regarding self-care. The big things and the small things. So self-care could be I go on holiday with the girls once a year. Brilliant. That's once a year. What else do you do? What else would you like to do? What would be inspiring for you to do? Don't look at somebody else's self-care routine, although there are some things that are proven to be um, helpful um, to help your mindset, but they're not all yours. And that's the crucial thing. What's lovely for me might be hell for you. And there's no point in me going, self-care is get up in the morning at five o'clock and do this and do this and do this. You'd be like, fuck off, I'm not doing that. That is not what I'm doing and I'm not going to be doing that. And you can shove your self-care routine up your taxi, lady. That's not the idea. The idea is what is it for you? What are the things that you know soothe you? Now, I do this in my um, Shift to Shit month because I think it's vital vital for anybody in this world to be enjoying who they are and what they do if you're loving who you are every day it's a daily existence so this is number two on that list you have to start with the list first don't jump ahead on that list what are those things that you can do every day now if that list is a massive list that you don't even know where to start start with the smallest thing that you can do. So that might be something really easy, like um, make a playlist on your phone of two songs and go out for a walk for those two songs and just walk and take in the view and who you are. Very simple thing, 10 minutes. Another 10 minute tip is get up in the morning uh, 10 minutes earlier and have a five minute extra long shower and sit down and close your eyes for five minutes with a nice cup of tea, 10 minutes. Another 10 minutes will be to get a piece of um, paperwork that you can either write or draw on for 10 minutes for yourself. Preferably, I think that self-care should start first thing in the morning. So it's like Christmas day, you wake up. If you haven't, if you haven't read The Miracle Morning by Hal Elwood, I really recommend you, you, uh, you, you do that. I'm gonna put a, a list of books that I recommend or in this group as well. The mornings are, oh, it's, it's kind of like if you have Every day, it's a clean slate, isn't it? Every day, you get to choose how you want to be. You wake up in the morning and you decide. Or you let your mind decide if it's going to be shit or if it's not. And if you've got the strength of uh, 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 the ability to be able to look at your mind and go, actually, no, I'm not going to have a shitty day today. 
I've decided it's going to be good and I'm going to let go of those shitty thoughts. That takes time if you're so used to your mind ruling your life. Um, but one of the mindset systems that I would implore you to do is to journal for 10 minutes. Journal about what it is that you want to create. Not, oh, my life's terrible. Oh, I wish you would do this. Oh, I wish I had more of this. Oh, blah, blah, blah. It's about being intentional about what it is that you want to create. And so you can write that down or you could draw it. That's the thing about journaling. If you haven't watched my free journaling thing, I'll actually make sure that's in the group as well. Um, it's definitely on my website under the uh, How to Work With Me, Things for Free. Um, it's, a, it's a webinar that I do for how to journal because there's always a way for you to journal. And I feel that the jur journaling is such the, one of the best mindset tools. Journaling and meditating, two amazing mindset tools to understand your thought processes. So get hold of a journal and start to write how you feel down, how you want to feel, what's, what's, what do you want to pull in? Like for me, there's, Liz was watching, I know she's still watching, um, of just my love for New Zealand. That's a big why for me, to take my family to New Zealand and what I needed to create to do that. Three weeks in New Zealand is ain't cheap, people. Um, and I want to be able to go because I've been and I want to really share that with my children. What is it for you? What are those things that you want to pull into your life? To live an intentional life, i.e. what do you want to create? What do you want to pull in? You've got to be able to clear what that is. And even if you're not clear of what it is, you can start to get clear on what it's not. So even if you can't start, you don't really know, Carrie, I don't know what I want, I don't know what I want. Right, okay, let's write all the things that you've done. And then once you write it out of your head, it becomes clearer. Sentence saying, uh, I don't want to feel poor at the end of the month. So what do you want to feel? I want to feel wealthy at the end of the month. What does that mean? When you look at wealthiness, what does that mean to you? Because it's different to you, it is to me, as it is to anybody else watching this. So... Really get clear on those things. So self-love doesn't have to be like hours and hours. It can just be 10 minutes a day. And I really would like you to start doing that. So on this post, you have an action. And I really want you to do this. Anybody who's watching it, I want you to write underneath today, while you've watched it, while you've just got this moment to yourself, what's self-love? What is self-love and what is self-care for you? Two different things. Self-care, what is it for you? And what does self-love mean? to you because let's just open this up to expand it because sometimes we get a little bit lost and sometimes it's, like I'm saying like it is your idea of it it's not somebody else's sometimes it is helpful to share what you do like for me I get up in the morning I journal I meditate I always exercise doing something at the moment I've decided I need to get back into running so I'm doing a program to get myself back into running I listen to something, I listen to an audio book because I'm not very good at it. I, I listen to, uh, to books before bed, but not audio. My phone stays downstairs. Um, so I do that. I, I walk my dogs and I walk my dogs and I generally don't walk, have anything listening or anything else while I'm walking my dogs. I really do have to work on keeping my life simple and my mindset simple. So there are a few things that I do. I'm sure there are lots of other things that I do that I will share with you, but Start sharing them. Start helping everybody out in this group. I want it to become more interactive and this is how we're going to start to do it. So please do start sharing and I will see you again soon. Also, if you've got any questions, ask me, tag me.